Welcome to another deep dive. Yeah. This time we're going to be looking at um, alternate realities and the idea of the multiverse. Okay. And, you know, it's kind of like that feeling when you make a, a big decision. Right. And then you just can't help but think, what if I had gone a different way? Yeah. What if I'd made a different choice and what would that look like? Uh-huh. And that's exactly what we're going to be exploring today through the lens of Blake Crouch's book, Dark Matter. Okay. Um. And we've got a few different sources today. Oh, cool. We've got some reviews of the book. We've got an article from the New York Times. And we've even got a Wikipedia entry about the book and its adaptation as well. Interesting. So should we just jump right in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so dark matter basically throws us straight into this idea of the multiverse. Okay. The story follows this guy, Jason Dessen. He's a physicist. And he kind of gets thrust into this world of parallel universes in the most unexpected way. I see. So imagine you're just living your life and then suddenly you're ripped from your reality and you wake up in this completely different life. Wow. Like everything is different, all because of one single choice that you made 15 years ago. So like a sliding doors kind of situation. Exactly. And that's where this uh, really interesting scientific theory comes in. Okay. The many worlds interpretation. Have you heard of this? I've heard of it, but I'm not sure I fully understand it. So basically it suggests that every single time a decision is made, mm -hmm. every possible outcome actually splits off and creates its own separate universe. Oh, wow. So it's like this giant tree with infinite branches. Okay. And each branch represents a different reality where a different choice was made. That is mind-blowing. It really is. Okay. So, you know, thinking about that, it's like, there could be countless versions of me out there right now. And right. Each one living out a different set of choices. Exactly. It's kind of exhilarating, but also a little bit terrifying, don't you think? Yeah, for sure. One of the reviewers actually mentioned that Dark Matter kind of has a similar vibe to that classic film, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, yeah. I love that movie. Me too. Yeah. But, you know, in It's a Wonderful Life, George Bailey just gets a glimpse of what his life would be like if he had never been born. Right. But in Dark Matter... Jason actually gets to fully experience these alternate realities. That's interesting. Yeah. He's not just observing them. He's actually living them. So it takes the concept a step further. Exactly. Yeah. And that's one of the things that makes the book so compelling. Uh -huh. You know, it's not just about this kind of mind-bending concept of the multiverse. Yeah. It's also a really fast-paced thriller because Jason is actually fighting to get back to his original life. Oh, wow. And Blake Crouch, the author, he, he really masterfully blends all these different genres. You know, okay. so there's sci-fi, of course, there's suspense, there's even a little touch of fantasy. Wow. Some reviewers even compared it to C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia. Really? Which I thought was interesting. Yeah, that is. And it all comes together to create this really immersive reading experience. That sounds really cool. It is. You know, one thing that I noticed in the reviews was Crouch's writing style. It's, it's very distinctive. Mm -hmm. He uses these incredibly short sentences and paragraphs, almost like he's painting these little snapshots. I see. You know, to create this real sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. And I even read that there are paragraphs in the book that are just single words. What? Like popcorn wow. and roasted peanuts. That's so interesting. And I think it's really effective. Yeah. You know, it's like he's trying to make you feel as disoriented and kind of breathless as Jason must be feeling as he jumps between these different realities. Yeah, I get that. So the style really mirrors that kind of fragmented, unpredictable nature of the multiverse itself. Okay, that makes sense. But it's not all just thrills and sci-fi. Right. You know, dark matter also delves into some really profound ethical dilemmas. Such as? For example, if every single choice creates a new universe, mm. does that actually diminish the impact of the choices that we make in this one? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. It's a big question. It is. You know, if every possible outcome is already playing out somewhere, does it really even matter what we do here? I see what you mean. And that's something that the book really makes you grapple with. It does sound like it makes you think. Yeah, definitely. It really does. Mm -hmm. You know, Jason, he actually encounters all these different versions of himself. Oh, wow. Who have made different choices, right? Right. So some of them are living what seem to be better lives. Okay. And then others are dealing with some pretty terrible consequences. I see. And it kind of forces him and us as readers to really confront this question of, do our choices even matter yeah. if there's this infinite multiverse? It's like it's holding a mirror up to all of our anxieties, isn't it? It is. You know, all those what if moments. Right. What if I had taken that other job or married that other person? Uh -huh. You know, dark matter. 
It takes those very universal human experiences mm -hmm. and just amplifies them. To this existential level. Exactly. And it does it all while still keeping you on the edge of your seat. Right. You know, there's this one scene that one of the reviewers described where Jason finds himself in this really strange reality. What's it like? It's like a film noir world. Oh, wow. With neon signs outside his window and this shadowy figure lurking in the distance. So it sounds very atmospheric. Oh, yeah. Love it is. That. And it's those little details, you know, yeah. that really bring the story to life and make the multiverse feel so real. Right. And speaking of bringing the story to life, did you know that Dark Matter has actually been adapted into a TV series? Oh, really? Yeah. It's on Apple TV+. Plus. Cool. And it stars Joel Edgerton. I like him. Me too. So it's interesting to think about, you know, how they would translate such a complex concept like the multiverse. Yeah into a visual medium like television. Yeah. How do they do it? Well, the series actually expands on some aspects of the book. Oh, so, for example, it delves deeper into the supporting characters. Interesting. And their relationships with Jason, uh -huh. which I think makes sense. Because, yeah. Because, you know, the TV series, it gives you a different kind of storytelling canvas. <laughs> you can really explore the emotional nuances yeah. and the visual spectacle of the multiverse yeah. in a way that a book just can't. Exactly. I mean, think about all the different realities that Jason encounters. Right. And the technology they must use to travel between them. Yeah. I bet that looks awesome on screen. I'm sure it does. Yeah. But what do you think is at the heart of dark matter? Hmm. That's a good question. You know, beyond all the sci-fi and the thrills, yeah. what's the core message? I think it's about identity. Identity. Yeah. You know, it really asks us to think about what makes us who we are. Right. Is it the choices we make, our experiences, our relationships? Okay. Or is there some fundamental part of ourselves that stays the same across all these different possible realities? Oh, that's deep. It is. It's a big question. Yeah. And especially in the context of the multiverse, you know, right. where there could be infinite versions of ourselves. It's like if you strip away all those external things, yeah. the different paths we could have taken, what's left? What makes us uniquely us? Exactly. And that's the challenge that dark matter throws at us. It is. It's not just a sci-fi adventure. It's yeah. an exploration of what it means to be human. And it's a reminder that even in this vast multiverse with infinite possibilities, yeah. that search for identity that's a journey that's deeply personal. It is. It's universal. So I think for our listener today, this deep dive offers a really unique chance. To think about all this. Yeah, to engage with these ideas. For sure. And maybe challenge their own assumptions about choice and identity. And maybe even the nature of reality itself. Absolutely. Yeah, it really does make you think, doesn't it? It does. Like if there really are infinite versions of ourselves out there mm -hmm. living out every possible choice. You know, mm. does that change how we see our own lives? Yeah. Does it make our choices feel less important? Right. Like, do they even matter? That's the paradox, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, on the one hand, dark matter, it opens up this whole crazy world of possibilities. Right. Like anything is possible. Yeah. Any path you could have taken. But then at the same time, it also really highlights how much the choices we make in this reality actually do matter. That's true. So even though there might be a version of me out there who's like, you know, a famous musician or something. Right. The me who's sitting here talking about this book with you. Yeah. That's the me that matters. Exactly. The one who's making these choices right now. Yeah. And I think that's what dark matter ultimately brings us back to. Back to reality. Yeah. It's not about escaping into these other realities. Oh, it's I'm... about appreciating the one that we're in. And the choices that have made us who we are. Right. It reminds us that even though it's fun to think about all those what ifs, yeah, it's the present moment, you know? Yeah. That's where we actually define ourselves. Mm -hmm. Every little decision we make, uh -huh. it shapes the reality that we experience. And that's a powerful message. It is. Even with infinite possibilities, our actions still have weight. Exactly. Our choices matter. And I think dark matter does a great job of exploring that. It does. So if you're listening and this has got you thinking about the multiverse, yeah. definitely check out Dark Matter. Both the book and the show. Yeah. And as you're going through it, I'll leave you with one final thought. Okay. If you could be one of your alternate selves mm. just for a day, wow. which one would you choose and why? That's a good one. It is. It yeah. really makes you think about who you are and what you value. It does. Well, that's all the time we have for this deep dive. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time for another fascinating exploration.